Hey guys, Kiki Bit Cosplay here, and today we are going to be taking this and turning it into this. To start off, we're going to take the following measurements of your little bean, aka your child, or yourself, whoever you want to make this dress for. Using your measuring tape or whatever you have to measure at the time, I only had a slip lead, which is a leash for a dog, and I used that, don't judge me, and I made a long rectangular shape of fabric the height and width of the upper torso. I had folded my pattern so it is actually a long continuous piece of fabric and then I marked the center of the fabric that is where I'm going to be cinching it in for the shell effect. This method creates one seam at the center of the back. If you wanted the seams down the sides then you would just cut two pieces out. Placing the edges right side together I sewed together that one seam. The next step will be adding a hemmed edge along the top. Since this material is more of a flimsy lycra material and it might sag, I added an elastic along the top edge of the hem. Now this one I just sewed in. The other option you could do is sew a hollow channel and then feed the elastic through after. Now I am using the same elastic to gather the front for that shell effect. I am sewing the elastic along the line onto the fabric and I am stretching the elastic very tight so when the elastic relaxes it creates that gathered effect on the front of the shirt. The tighter you pull the elastic, the tighter the scrunch is going to be on the front. I started on the straps by cutting two rectangular pieces of fabric. I actually made the length about the circumference of the child so that I could have the extra space to tie a bow around the back of the neck. I also cut two of these because there will be two straps on the dress. Now again, right sides together, you are going to sew along the one line to create a long tube of fabric. Once sewn, you can flip it right side out and then sew the top edge closed. I still did leave one side open because that part is going to be sewn to the dress anyway. Then it's a matter of repeating these steps on the other strap. Once both straps are finished, you can sew them to the front of your shirt. When sewing the straps on, I used a zigzag stitch a couple times back and forth to make sure that the straps were well secured to the dress. And at this point, the top half of the dress is complete. Now for the bottom half of the dress, I pinned the top in a slight curve and I measured out 17 inches in a shell type shape around because I wanted the dress to fan out at the bottom. It's important it has to have a fan shape and you can't just cut it straight across or it's going to be uneven along the bottom half. Originally I was going to cut up out both pieces at once but then I decided I wanted the back piece to be a little bit longer than the front so I cut out the top layer and then after that I will take the top layer and place it on top of the other layer and but then I kind of add a couple inches it's it, it's a little confusing but if you follow along with it it kind of makes sense but basically it's it's basically the exact same thing as I did before only I am making it a little bit longer in the very center at the top and yeah that's about it anywho once that is cut out it is time to move on to the little green tooly organza stuff that I used on top so the shape I went for was I kind of folded it and then I cut a long almost like a curved triangle shape so it'll be really long in the back but then really short at the front and since it's on the fold line it um, is one big long continuous piece with no seams. Then I took the skirt right sides together, sewed both of the seams so that it was a full round continuous skirt. Next, just to hem the bottom edge of the skirt. I did not hem the bottom edge of the organza. You can, otherwise it might fray. Um, I was planning to add a bit of sequin or something to the bottom of that later on, so I left it open for now. Uh, but yeah, if you were wanting to finish it with that look, just hem the bottom of the organza piece as well. Once you have finished all those hems and you are happy with them, you can sew the outer layer to the bottom edge of the top of the dress. Now I'm sure you're saying, 
there's just so much organza and not enough top. Well, that is because you have to gather it all together. Now there's two ways you could go about this. One, you could use an elastic, the length of the circumference of the top of the shirt, and then stretch that out tight and then sew it to the length of the organza so it all gathers before you sew it all together and then you mash it together. But this way I just stretched the top of the shirt and then I kind of mashed all the green in as I went. Next you will be adding the bottom layer of the skirt on top and sandwiching the net netting in between and then re-sewing along that same line. Somehow that footage got deleted though so I didn't get to record it but that's it was just basically one extra seam and that's it. You're done your dress. Now I will be going back like I said and bedazzling it and adding sequins and sparkles and gems and all that other jazz but um, I'm really happy with how it looked and turned out. Now because I used all these spandex like materials it makes for a great water friendly dress so it's a wonderful option for a summer beach dress. If you like this tutorial and you found it helpful give this video a big thumbs up below. If you do try this for yourself, let me know. I would love to see your work. You can tag Kiki Fit Cosplay so I can see it. I love to see what people come up with. And remember, it doesn't have to stay purple and green for Ariel. It could be blue and yellow for Flounder or green for Tink or any other character. It doesn't even have to be Disney. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel below. Until next time, bye! <laughs>